What's up everybody? Today on Doper Nope, we are gonna be playing What Is This Thing? We are given a series of obscure products purchased from Amazon and complete four rounds consisting of different challenges, all requiring us to guess what the function of the product is. Ooh! We are starting with easy mode and we are ending on a hardcore round. If you guess what the product does correctly, you get a point. And if you get the most points at the end of the what game, happens? you win. <laughs> I love winning. Also, if you want to guess these products too, just like make a little sticky note and write it down. And then when we reveal it, give yourself a point. So let's get started with the first round, no questions. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the first product. Here's the object and here are our faces. Can I have my face? Everybody no. hold their own face. <laughs> okay, here are the possible options for what this product is. And we're gonna put our names by it. What's a high heel gauge? It says highest danger is between 35 and 40. Yeah, you might snap your ankle. What's an avalanche gauge? <laughs> Do I get extra points if I get it right first? No. You don't, Sinner. This one's a shelf mounting gauge. Oh no, I should have picked that. <laughs> I love the idea of a gauge for mounting a shelf. I'm tempted to just pick Matt's because he seems so confident. Oh, I have no idea what this is. I really think it's high heel gauge. What's a high heel gauge? Are you kidding me? If you have six inch heels, you're telling me that's not risk? No, that's a big heel, right? <laughs> six inch heel is huge. Least above average heel. No. I'm gonna go with, uh, this sounds... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna commit with my boys. No, I already picked that one, right? Oh, right, guys? We Did we all get it wrong? You got it right. <laughs> this is like something a dude who's going hiking would have. Like, not a girl yeah. who's going to the beach on her heels. <laughs> or or woods. Tim like, has no idea what heels are used like for. Like, the fact, I, Woods would have picked shelf mounting gauge if that was a real thing. But what? So it's like... Shelf mounting gauge is a real thing. It is? Yeah. Gives you a guide. Oh, yeah, okay. A leveling gauge is what I would call that. Not a oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, it's a real thing. Yeah, dude, I've hung TVs. <laughs> I would have picked that if it was a real thing. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> yeah, so Woods, what it does is it just tells you, like, when you're at that slope, that's when you're at the most likely to get hit with an avalanche. That's all it's telling you. Not readable from both sides. Cousin died. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like, you know what? I'm a real climber if yeah. I have one of these. You could just look up and be like, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you can only read it when you're going down. Hill. So you have to be riding the slope down. You don't have to be, you could just be standing. <laughs> just, just <laughs> He's the he looks thing. so disappointed with that idea. He's like, <laughs> Alright, so that's the avalanche product. That's uh, a nope. It's a nope, I guess. Which Wood says said. It's a nope. Let's take a look at the, the next one. Okay, ready and look. Well, this looks like something a bit sub. Productive. Hey, before you touch it, maybe read all of the options. I there. just like touching things. Yeah, well, read the third one. Portable urinal is an option. <laughs> And uh, they said they test drove these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they had to make sure they work. We have extendable faucet, which we, that sounds good, and a spatula holder, which who needs a spatula? You, a spatula is dirty. Are you gonna put it down your counter and have to clean your counter like a troglodyte? Wood is an extendable faucet. Yeah, I'm with that too, actually. Because, yeah, this is where the water goes and it can like yeah. bend it. Also looks like can a I, nose. Can I, can I, can word. Can, it's what it was Okay. <laughs> Wait, we shouldn't have acted so confident. Still could be a portable urinal. Yeah, it for sure is. <laughs> it is a portable urinal. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's you begging me, bro? For women, dude! I've never met a woman, so I would never know that. Bet this works on the faucet. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that kind of does the same thing for both, right? <laughs> that I would literally miss, I would miss 50% of the fluid if I used it how it's supposed to be used. You're not and a woman! You already have one of these. Biodegradable. You got gifted. <laughs> Biodegradable. <laughs> is this wasting away? <laughs> bro? Put it in water, dissolves. <laughs> it's called the tinkle, tinkle bell. bell. Oh, goodness gracious. You put this on your face, bro. I was giving Tinkle Bell a kiss. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, now it's weird. I'm not going to show you guys a video of it being used for both of our sandwiches. I tried it in the sink. And no, 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 like I. Oh, with the faucet. <laughs> That's disgusting, bro. <laughs> Here's some pixie dust. It's absolutely disgusting, all right? I'm not a woman, so I can't rate this. I tend to speak for women, so <laughs> I'm gonna rate it a dope for long car rides. <laughs> Where are you Where going? Are you going with that? Whether you have a PP or not, you still gotta go somewhere. You put it in a Gatorade bottle for sure. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so where else would you use this? Hiking, camping, bro. It's like right there. In concerts, bro. Oh. Dirty toilets. <laughs> In concerts? What if the sink's broken? You can't wash it out. That's a problem. You're carrying around a little Wait, stinky what? Tinkle Bell. Are you yep. pointing at me? I'm not using my Tinkle Bell. I have my own Tinkle Bell. <laughs> Biodegradable. It's a dope. It's a dope I can see on behalf. I think it's a dope. Of all women. Just so you know, all women behind the camera are going, 
Matt's at two points, Woods and I are still at one. Sure. We have one more product left in the first easy round. <laughs> well, the only easy round, but the first round. All right, next product. All right, ready? Wow, this is funky looking. It looks like a handle that slowly started getting pixelated. It looks like the Leaning like Tower that. of Cheesa. <laughs> what? You didn't like that joke? Ten steak, okay. Beehive scraper, never done that. And a bun, why would you core a bun? Don't tell him. Uh, I don't think you would. <laughs> Don't tell him. A bun corer. You open a, a, bu a bun, you know? You just open it right it up. It comes cored. And then you put a hot dog right in it. Oh, maybe like you're trying to make a hot dog. <laughs> but maybe you're trying to make like a like an enclosed hot dog. Like a We do love baby. an enclosed hot dog here. What are those called? Not baby pigs. Pigs in a blanket? No, it's baby pigs. Like a pig in a duvet. Person. A swine in a duvet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with a uh, bi scraper first. Yeah, it's great. Whoa! The classic confusion button. It's such a strange idea for a product that that's why he's <laughs> picking it, which is why I might revoke my option. You can't! You put it down. Once it's down, it's down. It's a bun corner. I Whoa! knew it was. Specifically a hot dog. Oh, it is a hot dog bun. It's a pig in a duvet! Swine in a duvet. Like Piglet it. in a sleeping bag. An oinker in a coinker. <laughs> oinker in a poinker. What is the name of these products, Bailey? The hot dogger? Hot dog bun driller. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about the hot dogger. How do you use it, Matt? Show the show the video. Of well, you stick getting... it in a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Pour that peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> why are you guys pointing at laughing? So <laughs> because he's trying so hard not to laugh, and I don't know why. He, he acts like he's above this. Yeah. Optimized for drilling sub rolls. Yeah, that's submissive rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What in God's name is he doing to that croissant? <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. Look at New York. Just yeah, why is it so <laughs> sideways? This is just sinful. Don't do it, bro. Oh, oh yeah, that'll clean it up. <laughs> dude, Is this stop. look familiar to anybody? And what? then he cuts it. Just get a hot dog <laughs> bun. Horrific. No, 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 not chili dog. No, I gotta not see this chili next dog, one. please. Yeah. Let's move along. That's a nope. I'm gonna say nope. I'm gonna say nope as well. I am not dogging anything with that. Cool. I'm I feel good about this. State. Matt got all three right, and you and I over here looking broke right here. That's Here's the reality too. If I wasn't the first one to go on the first one, you probably all would have gotten it wrong too. Here's the reality. You're probably right. <laughs> yeah. That is the end of the first round. We're heading into the second round. Don't go anywhere. Three, four, one and one. <laughs> I wanted to cheat, but. I don't think you would have gotten away with that. Tom, <laughs> obey my orders. I liked that round. That round was fun. For this round, Bailey's gonna be bringing out products that we don't know what the use are for them. Instead of it being a multiple choice like the last round, now we have to fill in the blanks ourselves. Oh <laughs> so it's gonna be impossible for me to cheat off Matt. Let's take a look at the first product, see if we guess it right. If you get it right, you get a point. So what does this product do, boys? You gotta write it down on the piece of paper. That's not a piece of paper. This is actually a whiteboard. That looks like the hot dogger, but advanced. Oh. G Willikers. I know what goes in it, but I don't know what it does. Now you're kind of hogging the product. Yeah, it's my product. Says who? <laughs> who says? <laughs> you said what I said backwards. Let me see this piece. That's how you keep your noodles from going in the sink. What's the top part? The, the top is how you let the steam get out. <gasps> <laughs> what on earth could this be? Now, anytime I see a tube this big, I just think hot dog. Hot dog has to go in that, right? Okay, pens down, pens down. Three, Ready? two, two one. one. Pasta maker and cooker, butter holder. I hardly know her. It slices little slits in hot dogs to cook it with the bun. Matt is correct. Really? That's it? <laughs> That's such a dumb product. Just use a knife or a fork. It's wow. for the microwave. It's for the microwave. See, I was almost put microwave, but I'm like, who would put a bun in a microwave? Because this is gonna get soggy. Well, it's a hot dog cooker, microwave rapid, hot dog maker for home kitchen dishwasher safe. That was not cooked in the microwave. Can yeah, guarantee. For sure that was not. <laughs> I would really like to see Woods try to make pasta with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's look it up on YouTube. Hot dogs, hot dogs. <laughs> Dude, what video did I just click on? Here we go. Here we go. This is big right here. It goes on top. All right, Tony, get to it. It's only a hot dog maker. I do not think microwaving hot dogs is ever the, the move, by the way. Well, what if your stove's broken? Then you better put it on the concrete. I'm a better chance of cooking with some sear in there, dude. <laughs> that hot dog looks like a really long toe. I'm gonna say no. Dope for Tony, though. Great job, Tony. Hot this is dogs. the next product. Hot dog. <laughs> Oh, hot dog bun. This is the second product of this round. Should I be touching this? Don't ask questions to get clues. That's cheating. You're just angry you put a urinal on your face. Can I see that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Smells good. Hey, look at this. You can hang this by your backpack. <gasps> by your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> this one's stumping me. This has got to be a ball cleaner. Put this on your golf bag. That's what I'm thinking. 
I got real nervous. Oh my word, I, hear, I feel my heart beating a little bit. I really want this. <laughs> I really need this win. <laughs> As a real, genuine, respected product reviewer. <laughs> Don't copy me, dude. I'm pretty good ready to write. <laughs> Bro, I would never copy you. <laughs> I, I'm confident I'm right about this one. Mine makes too much sense for it to not be mine. Ready? Three, two, one. Mine's a ball cleaner. I'm going for golf ball cleaner. Mine protects you from spatulas that are really hot when you're cooking. Stem or stick holder? I was thinking for like asparagus or like flowers or something. You're, you're gonna hold your asparagus? <laughs> well, like, you know how when you purchase asparagus, it comes in singular pieces? Who buys their asparagus one at a time? Are you a right. bot? Right, guys, but but asparagus, <laughs> you don't store them individually, you collect them, and that's how they sell them. Dude, he's cooking you right now, but you're not giving him the respect he deserves. Well, he's not you. listening. I was that's not. Fine. We're all wrong? Is it not a ball cleaner? This is a garlic peeler. Dang it. <gasps> what? Interesting. Yeah, like it takes the hard stuff off of the, the garlic, like the, the yeah. Yeah, I would have never gotten that. I guess you could probably use it for a couple different things. But, but but mainly the asparagus holder. He literally goes, I guess you could use it for its intended purpose. He's like allowing you to be right. <laughs> I guess it could be used for something other than what I said, but mainly it's what I said. I'm sure it has many names, but if we want to go with that one. <laughs> All right, so this is the Xylus garlic peeler. Yeah, you just squishy, squishy. Here, I like it, the ball cleaner idea a lot better. Not Have you ever cleaned a ball before? Are you talking to me, the ball cleaner guy? <laughs> so here's what you do. You stick it in, you stick it out. That's essentially the whole oh, process. You oh, you smash it. Oh, you smash it in there too. The real purpose here is, is so your hands don't smell like garlic. Or like asparagus. <laughs> Get stuck, dude. <laughs> My question to you is, how do you eat asparagus? Are you like picking it up and like smoking it? Is that a real question? <laughs> Do you actually need that answer? <laughs> LRA says, I highly recommend, I already gave it to many people. I love the gifter that's like, has a very niche thing that they kind that they're just way too passionate about. Yeah. It's like, in the end, I realized I didn't even have it myself. Wait, what? <laughs> that was the biggest plot twist of <laughs> all time. Like, this might not be your intended purpose for it, but what do you think, you know, for this purpose, what would you rate it? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Woods says it's a dope, even though he prefer to use it on literally anything but garlic, apparently. And, <laughs> and so we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, so this is the last product of this round. All right, fill in the blank, boys. What does this product do? This one's hard. I think I get it. I am not gonna say, but the top could be a cereal bowl. With a hole? Mm. <laughs> we all good. agree what this is for, right? Tenderizing so yourself. I, thinking, well, I don't need much tenderizing. Mama raised me sensitive. <laughs> I'm for right, mommy. <laughs> the way he just adds on a little bit too far all the time. <laughs> right, mommy. <laughs> I cannot get over that being cereal. Maybe oil goes in there. Uh, I would say yeah, probably before cereal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This is such a long. Why well, do you need a funnel and a tenderizer? A funnel and a tenderizer. <gasps> Stuffing meat. Dude, you know what it is? It's the thing that went on the Tin Man from Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one's gonna steal your answer, bro. I know. <laughs> Would you have 20 more seconds? Just write what's on your head. What's write, on your head? Write what? Hair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have, I'm not even close to it. I put stuffing and tenderizing. I put sausage meat. maker. I put grinder and funnel, but I just was looking at it. <laughs> so this is a magical car ice scraper, but the funnel is for putting oil in your car. I was right. It's like this windshield wiper is also a knife. It's like, yeah, we don't need. <laughs> yeah. <to be> yeah. <laughs> just, this gun's also a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> That's not even how you're supposed to use the windshield part, but I just don't trust, like... Well, it's plastic. Glass is harder than plastic. No way. It's soft plastic, too. I don't get the handle <laughs> aspect. <laughs> What's this? It's soft plastic, too, but... <laughs> what a stupid thing. Like, yeah. what a... Get it out! The, get it out! Both products have nothing to do with each other. It's like, Look at that guy. Where, he's pouring oil from a pitcher. Yeah, what is this guy doing? He's got sweet iced tea in his <laughs> oil. <laughs> That's sweet iced tea. <laughs> All right. This is a nope. This is a dumb product. I'm just glad none of us got it. That makes me feel a little bit better. I didn't believe in this product, and <laughs> turned out I was right. <laughs> He just flat out found a way to be right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Again. Like, it was another asparagus all over again. Yeah. So before we get into the next round, the score is, Matt, you have four. I have one. 
<laughs> Woods has one as well. But there's a lot of room to catch up. All right, guys, so this is the third round. This is the hard round, okay? And this is the infomercial round. I know what all these products are. <laughs> Good for you, these aren't them. So we're each going to get one product and we're gonna have to pitch that product on this green screen as an infomercial. We're gonna have to act like we know what it does by using these support props. And this round is worth two points. So if you get it right through using these support props and pitching it, you get two points. And some of these support props are red herrings. So some of these are just meant to bait us. What's into a red? Oh, thing. I'm so good at explaining. So yeah, some of these are meant to bait us into doing the wrong things. So we have to make sure we pick the right one, or else we're gonna look really silly. Okay, so here's your product, Tanner. All right, guys. So this is the product. I'm gonna take like a quick 20 seconds or so to get a vibe for it. I was positive I was gonna be a speaker. <laughs> All right, and now go. No, da -da 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 Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to TVC. This is Tanner Visual Connections, and we're going to be connecting you visually to a bunch of products that you're going to love to see. Now, if you take a look here, I have what we call the Schwingelschwandel. This is a two-parter. If you're looking here, you're going to see that this could be a nose. It's not. I'm just a jokester. <laughs> Am I right, everybody? This product is meant for puppies to sing into, to capture their barks, right? <laughs> So I have Bailey here, she's being so kind. Look at her. She usually doesn't speak out of turn, right Bailey? That's right. We're gonna connect the puppy mic with the bag of barks. <laughs> I can't wait to see this work, right everybody? Bailey, sit. Perfect, beautiful. Oh. <clears throat> speak, 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 speak. You did good, and then listen to her bark. <gasps> oh, it's compressing. Just give it a second. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this puppy product. Go ahead and buy it over <laughs> Wait, there. what is it? This captures puppy barks. <laughs> I already communicated that. You should be listening. If you guys want to capture your own puppy barks and possibly sell them on eBay and on our website, <laughs> <laughs> www.barkforbailey. <laughs> the cost is $44.99. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a portable clothing dryer. I knew it, dude, I knew it! A portable it. clothing, how does that work? So you put your wet clothes in that sack and it dries them. But how? Wait, it has oh, nothing to do with dogs? Do nothing to do with dogs. Why are there paw prints on it? I have no idea. What a bait! Literal paw prints, so that's where I went to dog first. And I was like, there's gotta be something to do with the dog. But like, what scenario do you usually normally catch dog barks in? That's the first thing I thought is a bag for dogs and it's not poop, barks. All right, well, Tanner gets zero points, shocker. Woodland, Me? you're up next, yeah. Okay. Woods, you have 10 seconds and then one minute. Good luck. Okay. Whoa, that's fun looking. Three. Oh, I know what it is. Two, one, ready, go. Hello and welcome to CVU TV. Stay here with me. Everybody, stay here with me. I've got a product for you. It's something you're not going to want to miss. I know you late nighters out here are obsessed with those mm -mm, DIY projects. It's wet, it's wet. Why is it wet? One thing led to another. What am I talking about and why am I here? It's this, I'm here because of this. What is this? Well, let's break it down. Now, keep in mind, this is the fairest, nicest wood on the market, birch walnut. It's a <laughs> it's a hybrid of sorts, but sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Would somebody? <laughs> sorry, sir. Uh, she got up here somehow. If you're looking to redo your shower, redo your bathroom tiles, if you're looking to add a little more accents in those kitchen areas for when your guests come over, it's not so beige, but it pops. Really, a great way to do that is through uh, tile. This one's a little different from mine back at home. <laughs> Well, you know, that's just the darndest thing. <laughs> Actually, something I really enjoy doing with this product back home is if you have any little creatures around and you like setting up little places for them to have outlooks and little perches for them to perch and hang out on, <laughs> uh, what you can do is if you have a cage for them, you take this, you put these little uh, bolts right in between the holes of the cage, and boom, you've got yourself a beautiful little balcony for your pet hamster. What's the product called? Product is called, it's got many, 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 many product you names. Like <laughs> um, but what we like to call it down here in the south is modular tile, DIY tile uh, shelf. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of time, guys. Please call the number down below for your free uh, services, and uh, it's 20 bucks. <laughs>
<laughs> Free service. What are you really um, selling? Woods, I do have to say you used the correct support product. The gerbil is the correct product. This is a pet cooling pad. So the reason why it was wet is because it was in the freezer. This is supposed to cool down your gerbil, hamster, rabbit. I need a cool gerbil. So I'm gonna give it to you because you did use the gerbil. No, and he also said you attach it to the cage. Boom! Congratulations, right. Woods. Yeah. Congrats, Woods. Congrats, Woods. Congrats, Woods. <laughs> All right, so Matt, you get 10 seconds starting now to take a look. Three, two, one. Welcome, welcome all, anyone who's watching at uh, 2 a.m. I have something really unique, really interesting for you today, and really, I just wanna show it to you. I just want you to soak up the beauty of what this is, because this is one of my favorite products of all time that I ever had the pleasure to use. So much, I made my own business selling these. And so here's what you can do. You can buy these and then sell them yourself. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> so here's the, here's the deal guys. I wanna get you into my pyramids and my, my uh, multi-level marketing. First off, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you what it's not by showing you what it's not. <laughs> so one of my friends back home, when I first gave this to him, here's what he thought. He's like, this is perfect to clean all my hot dogs. Right, right my guy? I did and I, I cleaned all of my hot dogs. You, you did? Well, it's not for that. It worked okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to the game and bring this? Show your friends? No, this is a this is a private thing you do. <laughs> this is a really private thing you do. You can put peanuts in here, but I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take your shoe and you want to clean the bottom of it. You really want to clean the bottom of it. No, you don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that because here's the real truth is it goes on your head after you clean your shoe <laughs> and you just brush your hair and whatever hair gets stuck in here, save for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. This product for 10 payments of $2.99 <laughs> is called the tickler. Oh, what does it best tickle? <laughs> <laughs> tickler, it, it's just a real portable comb. Yeah, it's a hair, it's hair storage. <laughs> Get it by calling this number. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> nice job. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> the last product did the last one. Yeah, you lift the paw and you put it in. And you what are you doing to her arm? It is the tickler, you're right. It's the tickler, I told you, I'm right. I was close. Just wrong species. <laughs> that is awesome. The only person who gets points in this round is Woodland, so he gets two points. So that leaves Woods with three, Matt with four, and Tanner with one. As a reminder, in the next round, it is worth three points. So there's still an opportunity for Woods to win. And Tanner to tie. And Tanner to tie. Let's head on back over to the couch and let's get started with the hardcore final round. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we are at the final hardcore round. You see us sitting at the table here. How this round works is simple. Each of us gets to step up and gets two minutes to go find the two supporting props that will make the product work. Step up, dude. Step up. Then they come back. The next person goes, they come back. The next person goes, they come back. You don't get to see what's in mine. You don't get to see what's inside. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to go Easter egg hunting with you guys, with you fellas. Then we have to pitch how our product works with its two support props. If we're right, we get a whopping three point arenas. So this is the product that we have to find our two support No, don't say anything, props. Tanner. It's totally a juicer of sorts, right? Stop talking. If you say things that help you, it helps them. It's totally a mayonnaise maker. No, right, Woods? You don't know the first thing about making mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me the first three steps to making mayonnaise. It's all about supplies. Pulling yeah, and then ground. you have to start your own business. <laughs> you need to get a license. <laughs> it's a scheme, <laughs> really. <laughs> All right, Matt, you've had enough hands-on time. My turn to get some hands-on time. Oh. Oh. That's provocative. Is this a sundial? That's provocative. Is this a sundial? <laughs> There's so many levers on this. I know, it is so complicated. I really want to put something over that and make it make the like farting sound. You know how it does that with some other products? Could you give me a sec? for like just some minutes. No, don't let him think, bro. Get a ball close to him and get warm. Get warm. <laughs> Matt, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Oh wait. Okay. I think I know what it's this is. It's a stapler. <laughs> it's a stapler. All right, okay. bye Matt. I'm gonna try and fool them by walking far. This thing over there, what's, what's that? No, it's gotta be that. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
doing? It's gotta, oh, this is it! I know it has to do with one thing. Yeah, let's discuss it. Maybe we can team up on him. I think it's a banana juicer. It looks like a banana. Well, bro, you trust too easily. You can't just throw all of your answers out. No, I'm down to collab, but you have to collab back. You already gave me one of bro, your answers. Bro, collab back, bro. <laughs> collab back, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Do you want to be my video or not? <laughs> That's how you know you're on right. Obviously it has something to do with bananas, but you don't, you do not juice a banana. <gasps> I think it makes chocolate bananas. Uh, three seconds, three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I got something good. I think I got what I needed. Did you get a banana? <laughs> I don't think so. I love trick or treating. This is like my second favorite thing to do on Halloween besides scare the kids and make them cry forever. So here we go. All right, has anybody started the timer? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Watch out, Mark. <laughs> There's enough for everyone. Why are you telling me this? Because I don't want Tanner to win. Oh, why? I hate him. Wait, there's, oh! Yes! Can I only take two things? Only take one of whatever you're grabbing. <sighs> Can I hide him? Oh my. <laughs> You've been very competitive this round, or uh -huh. this video. What are you playing to win for? I want to be reviewed as a reviewer. All right, I don't know what to do with the rest of this. What the heck could go with it? It's got to be in the kitchen, huh? It's got to be in here. <gasps> There's so much of this. <gasps> I just hit the jackpot. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be this, right? Why do we have so much of this? Because I like it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I think I really hit that on the head. I'm really confident in that. <laughs> Woods, we were right, baby. Okay, is it started? Steely deely dee. Deely deely dee. I need a banana. That's what I need. So I saw some bananas in here. Bananas are gone. That's great. Deely deely dee. Deedly deedly dee. Gotcha. Are we. What are you all laughing at? Jeez, there's a banana. <laughs> this is like an actual Easter egg hunt. For 40 seconds. You're kidding me. You can do it. <laughs> oh my god. Just ripped it open. Banana. What are you about to do to this banana wood? I want to put chocolate sauce on it, dude. Alright, put it in your bag. I'm, I'm good. Whoever put those bananas in the thing, you owe the studio a new thing. <gasps> you broke it? Well, we don't do Keurig anymore. <laughs> I put all the bananas in the Keurig thing, so it was really hard to get at. Yo, so you did pick a banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hotshot, you're so confident, use it. No, you go first. No? Yep. You go first. All right, I don't want to go first, so. Random number generator if we wanted to. Like, Bailey, pick a number between one and 10 in your head. Yeah. Say it. One. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. I'm gonna go three. One. Okay, it was five. I'm closest. Wait, we're tied. But then Woods is farthest, so he would have to go. First. You gotta go. Let's go first. All right, Woodland. Am I timed on this or anything like that? No. Yeah, 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've grabbed. Well, that kind of counts. Oh, that was such a good idea. You was literally told me it was this, and he actually found it. What I'm going for is, you know those like choco bananas you get at Disney? No. You ever have a frozen banana covered in chocolate? No. I eat a real popsicle like a true American. What is a real popsicle, a popsicle if not a frozen thing on a stick? Corn dog yeah. is a popsicle until it's cooked. <laughs> That was it's so, a meat popsicle. So well said. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to de-glove your banana. So something you there's a couple. I'm not selling this. I'm not gonna try to. I <laughs> was about to go into infomercial. <laughs> Gee whiz, guys. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> this must be a new model. <laughs> he is going to infomercial. <laughs> Captain Banana. <Yeah. laughs> okay. All right, so you're gonna want to go ahead and <laughs> took him uh, so long to peel your banana. <laughs> peel the banana. Well, I couldn't tell if he was peeled or not. <laughs> you are holding it so <laughs> What is your <laughs> You're going to put the banana you in here. You're going to take this and you pretty much want to oh. waffle stomp this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, what on God's name? He just keeps literally <laughs> turning it around and doing the same He's thing. He's hoping that one part of it just goes, me, right here. I think you gotta call it, bro. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna take this. You're going to want to straighten it out. What in God's There it is. Are you doing this? And so now, you're, you're, now you've got a 
straight banana, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and... I think we have to call it wedge. I don't know about that, because uh, it, it takes a couple minutes, and then you slide oh! it out. And that is how you display. <laughs> Holy cow. Tune in later. That was fantastically nice. I'm changed. So is the banana. Oh, this goes here? Yeah. <laughs> so what I picked, shocker, banana. Yeah, it's uh, shaped like a banana. That one's obvious. I also got a bunch yogurt? of yogurt with bananas on it. Gotcha, huh, buddy? Okay, do it. I think what Woods kind no. of didn't think about is this no, does go straight no. in here. <laughs> no. So something goes here. I'm gonna do a little <laughs> test with it. <laughs> Definitely not, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is right. Okay, so now here's how it actually works. So now we're gonna take the yogurt. Oh no. Can't believe you finally figured it out. I got it. So here's what you're you do. You're super close. You're gonna mix. So you just drop a couple pieces of... And a little yogurt. No! Oh! oh. Not lying with you, I kinda want some of this after. Oh wait, then turn it around and squirt it in your mouth. But wait! No, don't say wait! Just let it happen. How to shotgun a banana let smoothie. Let it happen. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's in its beta phase, but... <laughs> you can go straight to the nub if you want to. Uh, no! I forgot to put the cap on this, dude. Yeah! Where did you this goes back on, dude. All right, guys, so it is Matt's turn. Yeah, I should have done that. Wait, you have to show your products. Oh, true. Oh! Shocker! Nutella. Nutella. Don't do it. I'm opening the Nutella for you, unless that opens it's it. It's not open. That's a good sign. My yogurt we also know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Woods had an idea here. You can kind of see the banana stretching. Wait, you're actually doing what Woods did? You're straightening you out the banana? You thought I was dumb, dude. Oh, he's coring it. Oh, he's so right. Yeah, he's filling it. I knew it was a banana filler. Oh, it's so perfect, Matt. <gasps> Boston at the seams, bro. It's I'll take a bite of it. If <laughs> okay, you, do it. Well, I don't want to hold it. I want you to feed me. <laughs> it's like, you're playing. That's so good, dude. <laughs> did I get it right? Yes! Almost. Well, yeah, basically. Heck yeah. So the only thing that dispatch. you're supposed to do is you keep it in its little peel and you cut the tip oh, off of it. That so that way sense. you can like peel it so yeah. it's less messy. You picked the right products too. Yes. All around win for me, dude. Dude, this is yeah. what you're supposed to be doing with your life. <laughs> Products. It's like, this is the best thing you've ever made. No. <laughs> Stop making videos. Just make these. Make these now. <laughs> Matt, congrats. He is confirmed the silliest fellow. Matt, you had a total of seven points. Seven points. How many did you get? A uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> did I got you just spit on me over it? Sorry. Would you have three? Oh, great day today. I'm gonna bring that home and my wife's gonna be proud of me. Guys, make sure to comment down below what your score was. If you won, well, you're a winner. And you should go check out that video right there. That is the last time we played this game. Also, if you lost, now you have to. You're in YouTube jail. Bail out if you watch a video. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Yeah. I rate this dope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Goodbye.